We promised these people that we would support them. We've got to send them troops to back them up. Ike is absolutely adamant about not sending in troops or tanks to help the Hungarians. Most of these revolutionaries, they're students. They're kids, Alan. We know we're not sending in tanks, but do the Russians need to know that? Yes, if the Russians believe the United States is sending air cover and tanks, that could give the Hungarians just the amount of time they need to hold out, outlast the Russians, maybe. the best we can do. Start radio traffic. Make sure the Soviets are listening. It's over, isn't it? It won't be over for our party until he's dead. Until everyone's dead. Are you willing to die for this? Well, why do you care, Jack? You can go back to the CIA, to America. This isn't even your country. But it's my daughter's country. And I'll fight for her freedom, for her future so that she doesn't have to live in fear of imprisonment and torture. And I'll stand at her father's side to do that. Thousands of freedom fighters being thrown into boxcars, carried off in the direction of the Ukraine. They're putting people into concentration camps. Here, here's one from the Associated Press correspondent in Budapest. Under heavy machine gun fire, any news about help? Quickly, quickly, no time to lose. Maybe you should get some shut eyes here. You haven't slept in days. Here, this is from a Hungarian reporter. SOS, fighting very close now. Don't know how long we can resist. Rumors circulating American troops here within one or two hours. Is it true? Gritsky, this country isn't being overrun. It's being exterminated. But it's as good as cold-blooded murder, Alan. Murder! Oh, for six years, six years, urged the Hungarians and the surrounding Soviet satellite countries to rebel against the Russian chokehold. We sent countless messages across Radio Free Europe, spent millions creating covert capabilities for just such an occasion. I know. Stockpiled arms across Europe, trained emigres by the thousands. And what do we do? We, we offered damn pious phrases from Eisenhower. Oh, the, the heart of America goes out to the people of Hungary. We told these people to rise up and break free of their communist chains. Now we're turning our backs on them. Calm yourself, Frank. Mr. Director, I wish to state for the record that everyone here in this room, hell, everyone in Washington itself, is culpable in the deaths of these freedom fighters. We will, all of us, have blood on our hands. I tried to warn you, Frank. It was your methods that brought us to this place. You know, despite your personality, I have respect for you, James. But I hope you're wrong. I hope to God we never have to see the world through your cynical 